Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome to this week's episode of Show and Tell. This is a series where I share a picture book and activities or an activity that you can use along with that book in your classroom. At the end, I will leave a link where you can download the activities that I mentioned in today's episode for free. So be sure to stay tuned till the end. All right, so I'm actually getting ready to go to Get Your Teach On. Um, I present there alongside of Kara Carroll. Um, we do a classroom community building session. Um, we have done this for the past two years and we will also be doing it again um, at nationals for the K-1 crowd. But formerly we have presented a session called Throw Back to School. And this is a classroom community session. Um, we talk all about building and maintaining classroom community, not just at the beginning of the year, but all year long. And we have found that most teachers hit this really hard in the month um, of August when they were headed back to school or September, depending on when you head back to school. And then it kind of like, uh, kind of fades off and we don't hit classroom community building towards the middle and end of the year. What we have found is this is something that should be worked on all year long. Um, we hit standards and we hit um, testing and we hit all the content so hard all year that this skill set just kind of, you know, fades away. So what I want to do today is I'm going to introduce you to an amazing picture book. It's actually by the same author as last week's picture book. Um, and we're going to get to it. All right. So today's picture book is The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. Now, this book is excellent for teaching classroom conflict resolution because oftentimes our kids will get in little spats with one another that could actually very easily be taken care of with a game of rock, paper, scissors. Or sometimes they have to differentiate between what's worthy of telling the teacher and what's not. And this book and the activities that we're going to do following we, when we read this story will help your students determine what could we just solve by playing a game of rock, paper, scissors and what actually needs the teacher's attention. The first thing that you're going to do is teach your students how to play rock, paper, scissors. If you're not familiar, students go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. And when they shoot, they either pick a rock, paper, or scissors. Rock crushes scissors. Scissors cut paper. And paper covers rock. Just like in the story, if rock crushes scissors, that player wins. If scissors cut paper, scissors wins. And if paper covers rock, paper wins. For this activity, you're gonna need a set of conflict cards and a set of rock, paper, scissors cards. After you've had the chance to explain rock, paper, scissors and how there are winners and losers, be sure to teach your students that it is okay to be a loser every now and then. Teach them how to gracefully lose and gracefully win. We're gonna start with the rock, paper, scissors cards. So you're going to put students and partners, they're going to draw a card. For instance, who will go last? They will play a game of rock, paper, scissors to determine who will go last. Here's some other examples. Who gets the extra snack? Who will do the math problem at the board? All of these are not necessarily conflict, but can be solved without the help of a teacher just by playing a simple game of rock, paper, scissors. Then we're going to introduce these conflict cards. Now these conflict cards describe different scenarios your students may find themselves in. Allison doesn't want to share the crayons with Keith. Rory took Joe's glue without asking first. CJ's friend chose a different partner during math. So again, you could either partner students up, work in a small group, or even do this as a whole class discussion. Read the conflict and then discuss how it should be solved and whether or not a teacher should be involved. All right, so you might be thinking, how does this tie into classroom community? Well, you're likely at the point in the year where your kids know each other really well. They're like a little family. And they probably squabble every now and then, just like a family would. And families that love each other always find a way to work through their conflict. So using this rock, paper, scissors activity and discussing conflict resolution with your kids can actually make your classroom community better. And it's a very simple and effective way that you can get an amazing picture book in and teach a skill set to your students. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Show and Tell. Be sure to grab yourself a copy of The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors by Drew Daywalt. 
add this to your classroom library. Your kids will love it. And be sure to download your free printables for the activities mentioned in today's episode right here.